Like, even if you didn't do no wrong, I'm giving you a ticket. Like, that's what I'm on right now. I'm on my grind, so. I'm gonna have to write you up the meters expire. Did you literally see us park there? I didn't see it. You were chatting with the guy in the car right now. I'm trying to help you. Here. Here. <laughs> Hey, I have an Amazon drop-off for you. Uh, received a complaint about your vehicle. Well, I'm outside of Walmart right now, and I'm going to go in there and cop myself some fire merch because I have people supporting me on the other side of this camera. Not many, but i got a select few, and that demographic stems from Canada. My top demographic in my analytics is Canada, which is, you know, very nice and very supreme. I love that because I am from Canada. Oh, oh, oh. Which is unfortunate because I feel like it's only just my relatives, my family, and my friends who are supporting me. But you guys have been supporting me. The Canadians are watching, so I gotta support them back. I'm gonna go get some merch and wear it into the gym. If it was any other country like Germany, Australia, or whatever, I would buy that merch and I would rep it to the max. But it's not. It's Canada. So I'm just repping my own set at this point. So yeah, let's go. Let's get this party started. Oh, nice. Here we go. I don't know why the shorts are like triple XL though. Like, look at that waist. Who is that fitting? Uh, do you have a Canadian shirt? Like something along these lines, like just repping Canada? Yeah, yeah. Well, that could work for the gym. It says ladies on the front, but it's 2023. I guess I identify as a lady. Hopefully this fits. I could just cut off the sleeves and call it a day. I have no idea what I am in a girl's 4X. Okay, never mind. That's a big bitch. All right, a large looks pretty good. What do you think about Canada, my guy? All right, what do I think about Canada? Canada my generation man that's what canada is i feel it man <laughs> like the whole generation is just I, what generation I'm, I'm are you part of years old man damn so what and happened they, they, and they the, basically since i was five years old i've been suffering with the illnesses and fucking sick oh poor baby you know because i'm in so much pain because i had to bust my ass working so hard because i couldn't couldn't get a i couldn't go to school because of the fluorescent lighting i was allergic to the school right so I get a headache as soon as I go into school. Honestly, my best tip of advice is just like positivity, man. Just like oh, try, I'm to, a, try I'm to get a, rid of I'm the a negative thoughts. Christian, man. I'm not negative at all. Stop the cap. <laughs> but it's beyond that, man. I think they were injecting our moms with different things before we were in, out of the womb. What about you? What do you think about Canada? I love Canada. It sucks, eh? <laughs> I'm just, no, I'm just kidding. I got a whole bunch of Canada gear. Uh, I'm representing right now. Canada gear from where? Well, from Walmart. I just walked out. Oh, right? I'm just going to go to the gym and slap this gear on, try to get some girls and stuff, so. What do you think about that? Nationalism against girls, I guess. It's a good strategy. I'm just kidding. I'm not. No, I'm selling it. <laughs> All right, let's make this look cool. Rip off the sleeves. It doesn't look good, but it's not for aesthetics. It's just so when I start sweating, you know, I feel good. I feel great. So let's get this workout in, baby. You gotta want it, baby. If you don't want it, what do you want? Shining again, I'm breaking records, I'm finished. I feel like I keep on winning. If I don't stop once I'm in it, I'm moving forward, I'm inching, but this is just the beginning. I've learned a lot of lessons, I've had a lot of blessings. My friends know I'm obsessive, baby chilling, I'll be stressing, but I don't second guess it. I'm loving every second. I see my life progressing, so I spend time investing. When I dream big, yeah, I commit. Wanted this. Life. You can repeat that. Yes. <laughs> you have a channel? Oh yeah, one of the fastest growing. What's the channel called? Uh, it's Jake Paul Biz. Gosh, gosh. You do look like Jake Paul, bro. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. It's Oslo. It's got like four letters. Walmart Jake Paul. Hey yo, what the fuck? Bro. Shit's fire if you check yeah, it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I gotta like earn my stripes. You know what I mean? My credibility. To, you wanna see? We can do more push-ups though. Twenty bucks. I'm game. I'm game. Uh, no, seriously. I'm, uh, fuck Twenty it. bucks, my G. You can probably do more, but fucking, I'm game. We're gonna see how it goes. A little gym competition let's, to get the gains. Let's, let's hope I do this boy. But look at this dude. Look at this dude. He's like way. He, look how much better in shape he is. Me. Could look he at die? this vascular shit, and then look at me. I'm wearing a hoodie and shit. It's all good. <laughs> Hey, yo, my ego is going up. Okay, so what happens if I win, though? I gotta stop. That's fair, yeah. yeah. All right, let's get this shit cooking. That's like 75, I think. How much did you count? 78, 78. But the form, though, so none of it counts. What? What? <laughs> Bro, I the, was it actually bad form? No, I don't know. No, be honest, was it actually? It's hard to say. You do know. I, don't, I can't even do like 30, dude. Might as well just send you the money. Ooh, 78 good push ups right now. Let's see if I can get it. Oh, f it, bro. I'm more aesthetic, so it doesn't even matter. Yeah, you are. You are. You are. <laughs> How much is that? That was like 50, I eh? No I didn't even count, to be honest. <sighs> yeah. But this one's with the cheese. You see those reps, bro? You feel like comfortable? <laughs> <laughs> Could you give me a spot real quick? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, I'm just trying to do like a thousand reps real quick, though. All the naps? Oh, yeah, 100%. Oh, what's your name? Harun. Harun, where are you yeah. from? India. Okay. What brings you here? 
uh, to Canada. You got that Andrew Tate hand symbol going on, eh? Yeah, kind of like that. <laughs> Do you support him? Oh, 100%, yeah. yeah. me too. In this video, I'm gonna pretend to be a fake Amazon employee. I've already done this, but I'm gonna put a fake inflatable sex doll inside of the box, and it's gonna be very haram. It's gonna be crazy. The guy's gonna open up the door and be like, that's not my package. And it's gonna be obvious that it's a prank, so I don't know what's gonna happen to me. Like, the person might just straight up open up the door and just fucking kick me in the head. I have no idea. It's a crazy idea. I don't know how it's gonna play out. It's not gonna be believable. I can't just be like, oh yeah, I'm just doing my job. I'm just dropping off a package because it's obvious that Amazon wouldn't drop that off. But I'm gonna try to play it off. But yeah, I'm gonna see how this goes. The worst part is just going to the store and actually buying this thing and being like, yeah, I'm not actually gonna use this. It's just for a video. So extremely weird. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, I'm just trying to like show my girlfriend because she doesn't no, believe that I moved like, on. You are no, but she just doesn't believe that I moved on, you so I just want to... literally not allowed to film in here. But I just want to show her, though, you know what I mean? I understand that, but the second you walk in the door, you are not allowed to film. Bruh. Hello, it's Amazon. Oh. Hey, I have a Amazon drop-off for you. It's, like, kind of a strange package. I don't know. I don't think it's this address. Are you sure about that? Like, I'm pretty sure. Okay, like, it's I had... It's the funniest thing I've ever seen. It's pretty fucked up. Like, I don't even know why they oh, didn't put it in, like, discreet packaging. Like, I was looking at these online. <laughs> it's not a joke, no. Uh, what's the address? It was for here. Like, we mark it off as soon as we drop it off, just in case we have to put it on your porch. Just so, like, if a porch pile sure comes... It's yeah, it's it is. Yeah. It's it was an Amazon return, so like it was like a tampered package. Unless you have like a basement suite guy or something. Like since it's tampered, we can't like bring it back. So like, is there anything else? Like, is there anything on the box? Like, uh, no. Address? Like it was a return, so it was already dropped off before, and they had to like bring it back. But where's the address? Can I see the address? Uh, it was all GPS. Like the address is taken off because it was a return. Thirty f Sixth Avenue. Yeah. That's not mine, man. I don't want that. On the I description, remember. it said it was like Sophie the blow up trophy. I don't even know what the fuck is. <laughs> it's a fucking blow up doll, man. Yeah, it's like a That's sex hilarious. doll or something. <laughs> and I can't believe it's just hanging out like that. That's that is unprofessional. Funny. I don't even like want this in my vehicle. Like I'm trying to get rid of it, so. Yeah, but I don't want it here either because this doesn't make sense. I got a wife and two. Two kids, that's not mine. Do you want to like put it in the basement and just try to hide it? Because I look well, weird just like driving around with this shit. Like having this like hanging out in my back is weird. Yeah, but it's, it's not this address, man. That's not mine. If I pay you 50 bucks, would you take it? Oh my god, I love how I can like play it off so smooth to where they don't even know if it's a joke Like why in their right mind would they think Amazon would drop off something that haram or just that crazy But like I can play it off to where they're like really questioning like hmm is this actually from Amazon? Well a little piece of advice if you see a block watch area If you see that sign in your neighborhood you better turn around and do absolutely no tomfoolery Because there's Karens in there who act like they're FBI agents If there's anything out of the blue out of the ordinary to the slightest degree they're gonna be on that case like Jason Bourne. Like I messed around with this one lady in some block watch area. Literally like five minutes after the video or the prank, the cops were phoning me. Uh, Constable Barnard calling for CMP. Uh, we just uh, received a complaint about your vehicle and an occurrence that happened uh, earlier today. I have a drop off. I have no idea. It was just delivered to this address. It was a return. It's for this address. Uh, no, it was a return. It just had like a GPS location. Well, no, I said it was tampered with, so it got sent back. Are you sure? It was delivered here. No, it has a, the address for here. Uh, no, it's just an address to this place, so. I have no idea. I'm just here to do my job, so. We don't think it's... Like, I have to put it here because this is the address for it. Uh, yeah, you do. You guys have to take it though because it's addressed for here. Like, I can't bring it back. I don't even know what it is. It's just like a mannequin or something. I don't know what it is. If you want to leave it, you can leave it. If not, you can take it back because I'm not taking that. Alright, no, that's fine. No, that's fine. That's all good. She is kind of cute though, like. I don't think my girls would order that. Yeah, I have no idea. All right. When you opened your door, this fell out of the back? When did that? No, like it fell out of the Amazon truck. I don't, like when you open the door, like I passed by and I seen this fell out of your truck. No. Like it's an Amazon box. And like when you open the door, it fell out. Like it tumbled on the ground. No, it's not, not my truck. truck. Yeah. Not my truck. Yeah. Truck. No, like it was this truck. No. Yeah. Everybody, no. 
No, it's an Amazon box. It doesn't matter. But it, and it rolled out of your truck. Like, I'm trying to help you out. No, no, no. If do you want to just take it, no. like just put it in the back. I say no, okay. I'm trying to help you out. Though. I don't no, want. No. I don't want don't this, worry. dude. I don't. I don't want here. Hey, buddy. Hey, I don't want this. I don't want. I'm gonna throw it, okay? No, please. I don't want this. Like it's for. I don't care. It's from your truck. That's not my fucking problem. Don't get out of here. No, it's, it's from your truck. Don't lose my time, man. I'm working, okay? I know. I'm trying to help you. Here. Here. Get out of here. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Hello. I have kind of a weird like Amazon drop off for this address. It was sent to returns in the warehouse, and it almost got sent back because it said it was tampered with, so... No, we don't order anything like that. Well, it's address for this place, so I don't know if, like, no. maybe you didn't order it, but somebody else might have. No, I don't think so. Hey, Alan, do you have anything weird like that? Who's a two? Oh, uh, it's address for this place. But yeah, it doesn't have a, a person directed to? Oh, uh, no, it was a return, so, like, all the information was already on here, it's and it got sent back. I have no idea. It's a return. It's not ours. No. Not ours. Are you sure about that? Because it was address for Harris. So. But then you don't, can't even tell who the person is. I don't know. It's just like a, it was a GPS that was sent here. No, so. it's probably the wrong GPS, but I don't think we order anything like that. No, we haven't ordered anything. From Amazon, no. Yeah, it was tampered with and it got sent back to returns in the warehouse. So. No, we not. haven't ordered anything from Amazon that Totally yeah. Looks like and you don't even have a name, so it's I don't know. Maybe it's a joke. But well, do you guys want it? Cause I can't no, take it back. You can, you can throw it away in your in the garbage. I don't. We don't want it. No, we no. don't want anything to we do don't with want, it. No. Yeah, honestly, this is like a hazard because it said it was like new, like used. And like if I have an idea of what this is, oh, do you guys just want to take it off my hands just uh, so no, I'm not with that? No, no, no. And please don't leave it in our property, please. Mm. Yeah, please. All. Yeah, do not leave it on the property. You don't want anything to do with it. Your meter expired, dude. I'm sorry, man. I'm going to have to set you a ticket because you have to have a certain type of kickstand if you want to prop your bike up. Like it's a new rule that's been implemented. Like you can't have no stainless steel kickstands. It has to be like an iron or something like a little stronger, more durable just to like hold the bike up but this is a side of no that's fine but it's just the kickstand like the kickstand is the main issue oh, but the kickstand is iron. no that's stainless steel and like that's a hazard like if that like if that falls over and like a child's like running past or something you know it could crush the child like potentially what is the child is gonna but you never know, like there's weird circumstances that could go down. That's, it's a new rule that's been implemented. Uh, I don't know this rule. Man. Well, do you have like something in the bag? Like do you have like chicken nuggies or something? Cause like I'll scratch the ticket if you have like some extra DoorDash. No, I don't have anything here, I read the delivery. You have no like chicken nuggies or? No. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to write you a ticket then. If you have like no chicken nuggies. Okay, it's just gonna be $6,000. Hey sir, are you resisting? I'm gonna have to write you up, the meter's expired. Did you literally see us park there? We I didn't see it. You were chatting with the guy in the car right behind us. We literally just walked in. I never seen it. And the, the, the people who like run this company, who like I deliver the tickets, they don't even know, so I can make it up on the spot. We literally just parked the car. I haven't even gotten out. I never seen it though. Like that's the thing. Can you, can you repeat that again? We literally just parked. You said the meter company, the company that you are writing a ticket for won't mm -hmm. know if, if you just parked here or not, right? Yeah, it's like my word against yours and I got a vest, so I look official. So, so you, you are gonna lie to the company saying we were parked here without paying for the meter? Well, yeah, I'm just trying to make my company. All right, boys, we almost got in a street fight. Some dude just randomly snatched my camera. Yo, shout out to that girl. I have no idea how she knew it was my camera, but she called it out, so I'm stoked, man. See, this is why I need a cameraman. This is only a scootering zone, so we can't have skateboards. Really? Just because it's a hazard, like, because a lot of people, like, they can't land tricks in it. The board just shoots out and, like... No way, man. Everybody's getting here all the time. But no, like, only, like, professionals. Like, you gotta land the tricks, because if the board shoots out and it, like, hits a pedestrian. But, like, we had so many complaints, like, board just going out and like hitting pedestrians and so that's why we only fuck with scooters right well, you know here. so many people are here right? like skating i know time. but we only like mess with scooters and like i just jumped into this job today so like i'm trying to take it serious and like make okay. a good impression on my boss so i'm gonna have to give you like two tickets no you're not actually i have to man this is a joke right no no, no it's straight up like i might even have to give you three because i get commission from these tickets i'm on my jeff bezos like he had so many ways of making Bro, this money is, this has to be like a youtube skit right no like I'm if you could, if you could land a kickflip then i'll let you off but it has to be like <laughs> you have to prove to me that you can land it and it doesn't <laughs> so shoot up I was worried like you might do a trick and it might like shoot out, but you're landing on that wood, man. Can you show your credentials? Yeah, you must have some credentials. Oh, hundred percent. Yeah, obviously. Can you show My name is Larry the Lobster. Bro, what the fuck? Uh, sir, why were you eyeing down that vehicle? Hmm? The parking's paid for. Yeah, but the thing is, it's a motorcycle zone. Where does it say that? Right here. Dang, bro. I'm actually gonna write you a ticket because I'm actually like I work for the parking agency as well. So like, where's your vehicle? I'm gonna have to write you one as well now. Well, the thing is, I drove. Uh, I didn't even drove here. I took the bus here. Well, I'm gonna stock you down. I'm giving you a ticket as well for loitering because you're just standing around. So, bro, what are the odds of that? I'm doing a video. What the fuck? 
What are the odds of this shit? I'm doing a video handing out tickets, and this is the first ticket I've ever got. That is karma. I feel like I just manifested this shit. You know what? Now I could use this on other people, so let's go. I'm gonna have to issue a ticket. Your meter expired? Your meter expired, dude. I'm sorry, man. I'm just doing my job. And plus, like, I get paid a little bit of commission, too, so I'm on my hustle. So I've just been giving people tickets. I'm like, fuck it, dude. I don't even care. Like, even if you didn't do no wrong, I'm giving you a ticket. Like, that's what I'm on right now. I'm on my grind, so. We can do that. Well, they don't know that. Like the higher ups, like I could say whatever. That's what I'm saying. Like I get paid commission. So I just be making stuff up. Like there's no meter, but like they don't know that. They're, they weren't here, so. How do you know I haven't paid yet? What do you mean? For my target. Well, it doesn't matter. I just make stuff up as I go, kind of. Oh, you make stuff up? Yeah. What, what do you mean you say you make, you make stuff up? Yeah, like nobody's here besides me. So it's like kind of like my story. I could be like, oh yeah, they were here for like 40 minutes. When we just arrived, yeah. When you just arrived, yeah. So it's a, like a dog eat dog world. Like I'm just trying to get my commission. So you just make up stuff and uh, just get a commission? Yeah. Pretty much. Are you serious? It only matters if I get reported. Like if I get reported, then I'm done. But I'm just trying to rack up the money and just bounce pretty much. The more tickets I give out, the more commission I get. So I just go crazy with it. So you don't care if someone is just like stopping for a second, you just give nah, I don't even care, yeah. You don't care? No, no. I'm just going until I get reported pretty much. So you don't care about the public, you just make up stuff, get paid? Pretty much, yeah. I'm going to need a free ride or I'm going to have to write you a ticket. Ticket for what? Uh, just for absolutely nothing. Like I kind of like run these streets and I can say whatever. Like I make up any story. <laughs> No free Please, like one or the other? No I'm gonna have to write you a ticket then. Yeah, do whatever. I get a piece of commission, so I'm kind of like greedy, so I'll just make up something like, oh, there's a meter that wasn't paid for. So, unpaid meter. <laughs> Hi, sir. I'm gonna have to issue a ticket. This is actually a loading zone. And if you're not like dropping anything off, like you, you can't be picking up, you can't be dropping off. Like, this is only for like if you're dropping off boxes or like picking up boxes. No, I'm not loading up. But that's right all now. you can that's all you can do though like you can only pick up and drop off like if you're not doing that you have to skedaddle i know that, well i mean i mean i work for global and it's a global van so i mean i just pick up stuff and what it's gonna yeah but you can only be picking up though like you can't be like, i am picking because if you're not doing that if you're standing around that's loitering well, I'm not loitering. so like you have to be I'm in working. you have to like be you, in constant motion like i you, am moving but it has you to be me loaded but it has to be constant i mean this is global mm -hmm. area this is what i'm supposed to pick up this is what i do i pick up and i go but it has to be constant though like there has to be a box in your hand like 24 7. did you just see me load up i haven't seen it no but like if i come here then it's just like loitering Right? Like, I'm so loading, I have to see I'm a box. loading in front of you. I'm right here. Like, these things are going to get loaded. Here, give me. I'll show you. Hmm. And I'm busy loading. See the front seat loaded, back loaded. Mm -hmm. See what I'm trying to take? Right? Hmm. And I'm just moving in and I'm going to be out of here. I'm going to have to write you up, man. No, you don't. <laughs> just kidding. I'm going to have to write you up. The meter hasn't been paid for, it's expired. Time remains, it's a minute. Oh yeah, but like the higher ups, they don't even know. Like I could say whatever. I could be like, oh, she didn't pay this, that, and the third. Unless you dispute it, that's the only way they'll find out. And I'm trying to make like some quick cash. So I'm just going to throw you under the bus and give you a ticket here. Not valid what you're doing. Hmm? You know what I mean? Well, yeah, it's like a dog eat dog world though. Like I used to have a pure heart, but like my ex, like we went back and forth, and like after that, I just been like a villain, like on my villain arc. Okay, bye. I'm no, I have to write you up. You haven't paid for your meter, so I'm gonna have to write you a ticket. I'm pay right now. What, what do you mean? Uh, but no, like the higher ups, like they don't know that. So this car could have been here for like 40 or 50 minutes. Like they don't really know, right? So I'm just gonna give you a ticket. Why? Because like your car is pretty nice, and I feel like you could afford it, and I get a piece of commission. But, like I'm just gonna write you a ticket so I can get some money and make. Uh, a bag real quick. What? I don't get it. What do you mean? No, you've been here for 40 minutes though. I just come. What are you talking about? But they don't know that. Like if I write you a ticket, they won't know. What? Yeah, like they won't know. Like if it's on paper, it's like expired meter. They wouldn't know. And I get some commission, so like... I just be here. I want to pay right now. You come, right? Yeah. I didn't pay yet. Yeah. You know what I pay? No. Wait. Hmm? But they don't know that. Like if I write you a ticket, they don't know. Like this could have been here an hour, two hours, three hours. Like I could just make it up as I go. What, what do you mean? <laughs> just wasting your time. I'm just kidding. No, I want to pay. You. I'm joking. Are you joking? Yeah. Why? I don't know. <laughs> what the? Oh shit. I'm gonna have to send you a ticket for texting and driving. No, you're texting and driving, sir. The vehicle just started, sir. Now you just. I was joking at first, but now you solidified it. It's real now. You are texting and driving, sir. This is. This is serious. This is a big offense. But well, now you're really texting and driving, I'm not, sir. I'm not texting and driving. You know, like the good cop, bad cop? Yeah. So I'm like, a little more than bad. I just make shit up sometimes just so I can get some commission. So like, that's kind of what I'm doing right now. Like if the cop showed up and they're like, oh, you were like telling them some story of how I'm just lying. They wouldn't know because it's my word over yeah, yours. I got the camera, vest. I have everything recorded. But it doesn't have audio. Yeah. Trust me, I know dash cams. They don't have audio, okay, so. I gotta charge you. I gotta give you two tickets now. Give me five tickets. I don't care. Give me as many tickets as you want. Well, with that attitude, sir, I'm gonna have to. Give me any, any. Five tickets, ten tickets. I don't care. Well, can I give you a kiss? Okay, now I feel bad. Can I give you a hug? Why? Can I give you a hug? You're messing with 
No. Okay, well, how about, how about I ticket your client? How about we do like a joint venture? Like when your client comes in, I ticket him and be like, oh, you're jaywalking. And then we get some money out of him because you're getting money out of him as well, right? So I say we do a little a deal because I'm trying to get some money out here. Like, what exactly are you trying to get from me? I'm just trying to get some money. You're trying to get some money? <laughs> I guess I'm evolving. I get the feeling these niggas ain't willing to do it. I do every day. I play the role of the villain and blow up the building to show them that we're not the same. There's no control in the children, they go with the feeling cause they gotta carry the flame. Would you please get the fuck out of my way? Would you please get the fuck out of my way?